God. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place, God. Spirit of the living God, allow your glory cloud to fall heavy in this place, God. Flow from heart to heart and from breast to breast, God. Allow your word to fall on receptive ears. In Jesus the Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And they finish. Look at your neighbor and say, I just want to finish. It don't even matter how I get there. It don't even matter what the circumstance is. I may not win, but I just want to finish. Anybody desperate to be where God is? Anybody desperate to walk into their destiny and claim their prize? You can go ahead in front of me if that's what you want to do. I just want to finish. Y'all didn't come for church. I just want to finish. I've been abused, but I just want finish. I don't see my way, but I just want to finish. It's a little blurry, and that's okay. I just want to finish. Now we're going to bring it to the spiritual. As we see in the Bible, the woman is nameless. And it has been viewed that when a person is nameless in the Bible, the author does not want to pay so much attention to the name, but they want to pay attention to the See, in today's time, we have pads, we have deodorant, we have soap, we have proper water, we have proper undergarments. So, of course, when a woman is on her monthly, there is no reason to be able to tell by way of smell. You may know because of her attitude that she's on her monthly, but you shouldn't be able to smell and tell that a woman is bleeding. Why? Because of everything that has been provided for us today. But let's think about the times in which the story is derived from. This woman did not have a constant flow of water. She did not have pads. She did not have soap. She did not have deodorant and she lived in a desert dry place. So you can just imagine that she cleaned herself the best way that she could. But there is only but so much she can do. So it was obvious that she had a problem. It was obvious that she had a problem. 110 degree weather. Blood. And we're talking about blood. Can I just keep it real? Yes. Have anybody ever smelled blood before? I want us to put ourselves in this woman's situation. There was only so much she can do. And the theologians recorded that this woman was constantly hemorrhaging. It was a disaster. It left her anemic. It left her weak. It left her breathless. And it left her hardly able to walk. She was sick and she was alone. She was shunned from people because of her issue. It's one thing to be battling with something internally. But what happens when your struggle is obvious? What happens when your mess up is on display for everyone to see? To the point where people don't even identify you by your name, but they identify you. Yes, yes. I heard a preacher say once, how bad do you want it? Because she knew there was a man in town who was known for healing the sick and raising the dead. And surely, if he can do that for them, then what can't he do for me? How bad do you want it? Understanding that God is no respective person, and what he does for one, he can and will do for you. But you must be desperate. You must be desperate. Why? Because desperate times cause for desperate measures. And we see in the text that Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house. And Jairus was desperate too. Why? Because he had a daughter. Jamil, you can relate. He had a daughter that was sick even unto death. But here comes this woman. Woman, make some noise. Because there's something about being a woman full of faith. Men, understand that when choosing a wife, you might want to check her faith levels. Because when something happens to you, and you say yourself down in a dump, you're going to need an anointed woman of God to be able to pray you through. So you can be cute. You can be cute. You can be fly. You can have on uh, red bottoms and all that good stuff. But if you can't get a prayer through, you can stay out of my face. Because if you don't know the God that I serve, and if I'm sick and I'm years old she haven't even begun to live yet and here she is sick yeah. but this woman said Jarius <laughs> I know you got an emergency but I can't wait for Jesus to be done with that to do what I need him to do for me she had to get him while she was in the area. We're talking about a woman who could barely walk. A woman who could barely keep her head up. 